Today, we are learning how to do a corkscrew, or a cork, or a cork 360. It's not really a trick that you, you start out learning. It's, you know, something that you learn other tricks before, and then you progress to this, uh, this trick. The progression, you would start with doing a cheek gainer, and then moving on to a, uh, a J step, and then a kick the moon, and then maybe do a true gainer, which, you know, will build up that confidence for a corkscrew, which is kind of like all of those with a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you did there. I will be using my left leg as my jumping leg and my right leg as my kicking leg. So I'm going to explain the J step. <laughs> so I step left foot forward, right foot on the outside of the arc or the curve, and left foot opened up inside. So it makes the letter J. My left foot is turned more than the rest of my body. So already I've got a turning or rotation happening. I then kick my right leg up towards my shoulder, right leg to left shoulder. Your two arms should be st kind of stiff and with your right leg. So kicking towards my shoulder, my left hand comes towards my shoulder as well. My left hand will go in, my right hand will come across my body, my left leg goes towards my shoulder, and the most important part is look. So I look to the left and I spin one and a half, one and three quarter rotations, open up and you land. It is a little bit scary, so perhaps you can try this little spinny technique so you just do a J-step, kick up with your left leg and just do one rotation and that's the correct move, the correct motion and all you have to do is now add another 360 into it. Then it's important that you don't kick straight up. The rotation is around your shoulders. Whereas if you, do, if you kick too high and you rotate, you'll be doing a gain of full. And we have mistakenly done those a few times and that's when you land on your head and your face and I twisted my pinky quite badly. It, it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. It took me about, I would say about four months from actually trying to learn it to being able to do it wherever I want, whenever I want. So that's quite a long time. I don't know how long it took you. It took me about seven or eight months. But you know, if you, if you stick at it and you go for it every day and stuff like that, it's pretty short of that. We got it now, and this yeah. is what it looks like. You won't get Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And subscribe. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so, subscribe! <laughs>